all right guys so hello and come to my welcome to my channel i started stitching this and i said um let me carry us along it's a t-shirt so you can see i've gone the the bad side i've gone it this is the good side and i'm going to show the measurements i use to apply this gun you see i cut this to be a wideness of four inches this piece and um, i first of all folded it by one and a half inch can you see that after folding by one the second folding i did is actually on um, two inches and then i folded the remaining half inch to turn it this when i did that for the both sides is the same thing i did for the both sides all right so if you can see the wideness of this stitch i made here is one inch i stitched half inch on both sides half inch stitching on both sides all right and if you look at the length of um this plaquette here it's i'm going i'm making it seven inches okay my stitch stopped at seven inches there all right so watch carefully how i am going to cut this for those of us that are familiar with um, a double or a single width pocket you should know how to cut this very well okay and i have videos on that as well so guys if this content uh, makes sense what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel all right and encourage the channel to grow all right so watch carefully how i am cutting it after cutting the next thing for us to do is to turn this plaquettes behind all right now watch carefully how i am going to turn it it's very very simple guys very simple and i stitch this shirt all the way to the end i fixed this collar from this beginning to the end so just watch carefully how i am doing it and at the end of this video you will understand how to fix plaquette for a t-shirt it's very very simple all right you can see because i took my time to iron it properly you can see it's taking shape already all right i'm not going to be talking much just watch and observe and you understand clearly everything i'm doing here it's very simple it's not difficult at all also guys i have um classes on suits you can see after ironing you can see how neatly it's looking i just ironed it i have classes on suit if you're interested you drop a comment and let me know an audio all right so i iron it and um i used a little gum there so as to hold that little notch there in place all right if you're interested in my suit class or my safari suit class you just let me know in the comment section and i'll add you up to the class so watch carefully the way i am stitching this all right also watch carefully and you get everything it's very simple so can you see the way i'm stitching it it's very simple Now, the way I'm doing this, I don't want any stitch to be on top of the plaquette. It's all inside stitching I'm doing. You can see the plaquette is very clean. I don't want any stitch to show outside. I want it to be that matured. All right. It's a very matured stitching I'm doing here. Yeah, so I will stitch, but I won't stitch all the way to the end. Just watch carefully. You see, I didn't stitch to the end, and there's a reason for that. Like I said, watch carefully. When I am attaching the collar, you will now understand why I didn't stitch to the end. All right. You can see my stitching is well done. So after joining the back and the front piece together, um, the next thing for us to 
touch our color and you can see i cut this color to be a wideness of about six inches i hem half inch inside and just watch carefully how i am going to attach my color this color here is somewhat the same if for you guys that have watched my vintage shirt this color here is actually the same way i used to cut my color for my vintage shirt all right so if you are a bit lost you can check my vintage shirts the way i cut my color is the same way i cut this color just watch carefully how i'm going to stitch it So guys if you are yet to subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn the notification bell on so that whenever i drop my videos you will be the first to be notified all right so just watch carefully how i'm going to stitch this i began stitching from that side all right i just want to confirm to see observe what I'm stitching you know I want to be sure that everything we enter correctly so I'm coming to stitch the end part I'll just do a little stitch there to hold it together Now you can see when I was stitching that placard, I told you guys I didn't stitch the end. You can see now, you can see I understand why I didn't stitch the end. You can see before making this stitch, I opened that placard. I opened it before making that stitch. All right. So I'm now going to stitch here and join it there. Yeah. So hope we are understanding. If you have a question, you can drop it in the comment section and I will do well to attend to your questions. If you are lost at any point, please drop the question in the comment section and I will do well to answer your questions. So, this is the last aspect now. Okay, so watch carefully how I am going to, you can see. I began stitching and I left an allowance of half inch before I began to stitch. So you can see the way I'm turning it. Just watch carefully guys. This is actually very simple. And once you're able to get this, it means you can comfortably make your t-shirt, alright? The making of a t-shirt, this is um, the most tricky aspect of it, this color. So once you understand how to get this color, it means you have no issues at all with making a t-shirt. Just observe the way I'm turning this. Carefully observe. Can we see that? Can we see the way I turn it? So if I turn it now, you will see that our color is already coming out. Can you see that? That half inch I left there is the overlapping for button allowance. Okay. So can you see? I'm going to now make a notch here so that I will bend the allowance to enter into the neck so as to have a clean stitch all right just making sure that everything is aligned properly i'm going to cut the allowance off a little the seam allowance so that it doesn't show outside okay can you see that it's more clean now 
so I'll simply do the same thing to the other side. Watch very well how I'm turning it. Can you see this? I'm turning this way. And then I'll make a stitch. The same thing I did to the other side is what I've done there. All right. So I'm now going to close the neck. Finally, watch carefully how I'm going to close it. This is the last aspect of this and it's very, very simple. Believe me, you would want to see this when it's all done. The result we are going to get is going to be very, very interesting. Just watch carefully see the end, all right? We're almost done. In the next few less than three minutes, we should be done with this video. We should be done with stitching this color. It's very simple, guys. Just watch closely what I am doing. And in case you are wondering which material I used for this shirt, I used a very soft crepe, okay? That's the material I used for this t-shirt. It's a very, very soft crepe. A very, very soft crepe. I'm trying to align it properly so that I don't have excess at the end. And at the same time, my work is clean, okay? That's what I'm doing there. So you can see we have stitched that today. And without having excess anywhere. You see that? So the neck is what? Is set. You can see this. Very clean and standard. So you can see what we have here. Can you see the neck? Thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate it. If you get to subscribe, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching this video. Welcome to Nat Fashion Hub, the best fashion channel in the whole wide world. Thank you guys. Thank you.